Good day viewers, you are welcome. How do you solve this problem? We are given f of x equals x divided by x plus 1, all raised to power x. And what is the limit at x approaches infinity for f of x? Before I try this, how do you solve this? Is there a solution for this? There is actually yes. So we can solve this problem and I'll be solving this in two different ways. So let's see the solution first. And here is method one. From the given function f of x equals x over x plus 1 raised to power x. Let's try and look at this. If we have x divided by x plus 1. So it's very easy for us to write this as 1 minus 1 over x plus 1. So this is still the same thing as x over x plus 1. Then, if I let t equals x plus 1, so definitely our x will be equals t minus 1. So having this, if x approaches infinity, since they have some relationship, then t will be also approach an infinite. So the limit change to, we have the limit at, now we change it to t, for t approaches infinity. So we are going to have, for x over x plus 1, we change it to 1 minus 1 divided by t, then raised to power of, for only x, that change to t minus 1. And consider this as the first step. In the second step here, let's try and break this thing down further. If I have 1 minus 1 divided by t raised to the power of t minus 1. So looking at this, let's say we have a raised to the power m minus n. This equals a power of m divided by a power of n. If you consider this, we are going to have 1 minus 1 divided by t, then everything is to power t over 1 minus 1 divided by t. So this is what we are going to have. And by taking it back into the limit function, then we are going to have to consider that if I limit only, let's say I limit only 1 minus 1 over t raised to the power t. This is one of the constant limits. So the limit of t approaches infinity of 1 minus 1 over t raised to the power t. This gives us exponential raised to the power minus 1. As if we have it as plus, we have it as only exponential. So since we have this already as e raised to the power minus 1, then when we come back to the real limit here so we are going to have therefore we have the limit at t approaches infinity so the whole of the numerator that becomes e raised to power minus one after we have replaced everything with limit or let me substitute so we have it as one minus one over t raised to power t then divided by 1 minus 1 divided by t. So for this, the whole of this up, after substituting the limit, we have it as e raised to the power minus 1. And for this one, if I change this t to infinity, and 1 divided by infinity, that equals 0. And 1 minus 0 equals 1. So therefore, the result to this problem is e raised to the power minus 1, and which we can, we can call it 1 divided by e. So here is the first method to solve this and how do you see this first method and how do you solve your own is it the same thing as this let's hear it in the comment box and get into the second method of this in this second method i'm going to be applying the logarithm approach and the expansion approach i mean the series expansion approach so this is going to be long and a short 
So let's see how we solve this. Suppose I let the function, the limit to be L equals the limb, or you can choose any other letter, at x approaches infinity of x divided by x plus 1 raised to the power of x. So this is the given question. If I introduce ln to both sides, that is the natural logarithm. So we have ln L equals. So introducing ln here, the ln will be inside, not outside. So we have the limb at x approaches infinity of ln bracket x divided by x plus 1, then all raised to the power of x. And by rule of limit, the x comes to the back of the limit. So and we have the limb at x approaches infinity of x ln of x divided by x plus 1 so this is what we are going to have and after getting this so we are going to do some expansion so so what we have here at the limit so let's try and break this down so if you have ln of x divided by x plus 1 so this is also written as ln of 1 minus 1 divided by x plus 1. So just as we have in the first method. And considering the limit of this. So let's consider only 1 divided by x minus 1. So for the series expansion of this. And for a very large number of x. Assume s is x is 1 0, 0, 0, 0, that is 1 million, then we are going to have this as a number that is very, very approach 0. Let's say I choose h to be equals 1 divided by x plus 1. And for a very large number, the x here will always uh, close to 0. So, and therefore, the, the ln of 1 minus h, so it will be equals negative h so it's a constant formula negative h minus h square or let's say the series of logarithm divided by 2 minus h cube divided by 3 and that is how this continues so by trying to apply this using this uh by trying to apply this template with this formula so we are going to have the the ln of 1 minus 1 divided by x plus 1 so this will be equals minus 1 over x plus 1 minus 1 over 2 into bracket of x plus 1 because when it takes squared so this will later come down then we are going to have minus so it continues like that but let's say I multiply 2 by x so from the given the real limit if I multiply 2 by x we are going to have x multiplied by ln. You know, the whole of this is given as x divided by x plus 1. Say the same thing. Equals, so this becomes minus x over x plus 1. Then minus x over 2 into bracket of x plus 1. So this will take squared. And that is how it continues. And in the next step, so considering the whole of this, only this one that we have here, so when we try and uh, we consider this, so we have it as 1 minus 1 over x plus 1. So which when we take out negative, we have this only as 1 minus 1 divided by x plus 1. Then minus, so this remains the same as x divided by 2 into bracket of x plus 1 squared minus and it continues. So going on like this. So we are going to try to look for a number at x. So see if x approaches zero, uh, uh, the x approaches infinity rather. So all these values, including this and this becomes zero. And we have only negative one. So therefore, for x multiplied by this, ln divided by x plus one, everything equals minus one. So since this is what we have, then let's come back up. So if the limit approaches negative 1, that is the limit at x approaches infinity of x multiplied by ln of 
x divided by x plus 1, everything here is gives us minus 1. So therefore, the ln of L equals minus 1 as well. Introducing exponents to both sides, we have e power of ln L equals e power of minus 1. These are enemies to each other, they cancel each other, and therefore L equals e power minus 1, which is 1 divided by e. Therefore, the limit at x approaches infinity of x divided by x plus 1 raised to the power x equals 1 divided by e. So this is how to solve this problem. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Never stop learning. Bye-bye.